what's going on guys JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update lots of ins and outs in this video so we're going to get on with this video quickly but before we do make sure like always if you are enjoying the content you want to help support my channel then subscribe press that red button press the bell and put your push notifications on aiming for 9,000 subscribers at the time of recording this video we're now less than 800 subscribers away so any help towards that will be much appreciated don't forget social media links in the description below and popping up on screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram my email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries we're going to be doing daily Manchester City transfer updates when the summer transfer window opens on Monday. So daily transfer videos from Monday, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. We've been smashing past our 300 like goal for the last few videos, so let's pump it up a little bit. 350 likes. Any help towards that will be much appreciated. And don't forget also leave your thoughts in the comments below these transfers because I'm always interested in what you do have to say. And so we're going to crack on with the video. We're going to start off with the outs and we've got an update on David Silva. Now 90 minute football, they're reporting David Silva, he is a target for his former club Valencia in Spain this summer. Will David Silva go back to Valencia? Of course Manchester City signed David Silva from Valencia, his future has still not been sorted, he's got offers apparently from Japan, from the Middle East, Qatar, the UAE, the United States of America, Spain, Manchester City have got a contract extension there if David Silva doesn't want to join any of these clubs. I'm amazed there's no Premier League clubs interested in David Silva as well because he's a wonderful football player. He's got at least a couple more good years in him and I'm surprised that no clubs are going after him. And I'm, I sit here amazed. I'm amazed that the transfer window opens next week and David Silva still hasn't found a preferable suitor to him just yet. We're going to wait to see what happens with David Silva. Like I said, do not rule out him signing a contract extension at Manchester City should he not be happy with where uh, the well the offers that he's got. We're going to wait and see where he ends up. But uh, David Silva, it makes me sad. It makes me sad that he's leaving Manchester City. I think he's a wonderful football player. It's going to be a sad day when he does leave. Oh so, yeah, bit of a sombre way to start the video. So we'll move on to the next story, Daniel Arzani, a player that we've not really spoken about since he joined Manchester City. That's mainly because he's been out on loan for two seasons at Celtic, picked up a serious injury during his first season and then spent the rest of that season injured and the majority of this season also injured. Anyway, he's got an offer apparently from Utrecht in the Netherlands. This is according to VLNL in the Netherlands, a source close to Utrecht. Uh, yeah, apparently there's a work permit problem for him to join Utrecht, but they're confident that this problem can be um, turned around and quickly and he can become a Utrecht player. Uh, Arzani, of course, is a 21-year-old forward, had terrible luck with injuries, Australian uh, international, I think, as well. A decent player, needs a good loan, needs to stay injury-free and see what he's capable of, but since he joined Manchester City, uh, like I said, he's just, uh, his whole um, career at Manchester City has just been dominated by picking up that serious injury at Celtic really early on in his loan. Such a sh shame, and I'm hoping that he can find the right club for him, and then he can start pushing on with his career. 21 years old, still a very good age, he's got more than enough time to turn it round, uh, and if he does join Utrecht, then I wish him all the best, and trust me, Netherlands is a very good league to go out on loan to and learn. There's lots of young players that have headed out to the Netherlands, learnt a lot and brought it back and then built their own success uh, in this country and in other countries as well uh, based on that. And so yeah, I think it'd be a really good move to Utrecht for Arzani. Now, we have got an update on Eric Garcia. Now, Sport in Spain, they're going back to Eric Garcia to Barcelona. He's Barcelona's main priority this season. Barcelona, they don't have any money to spend. I don't see how they can afford... Eric Garcia, that Man City are going to want a lot of money for a young promising prospect like Eric Garcia. If uh, Valencia can um, demand £39 million for Ferran Torres, who's 20 years old, then I'm confident City can demand something similar for, uh, for Garcia, even though he's got one year left on his contract, so is Ferran Torres as well. Uh, Eric Garcia is a wonderful football player. If Barcelona wants him, they're going to have to pay serious money for him. Now, apparently, according to Sport, uh, Barcelona want to swap Nelson Semedo for João Cancelo to try and improve relations between the clubs. It's trash. It's, I said, my job, 
uh, trying to find facts and separating it from fiction. This is just simple fiction. Why would Manchester City, with Jao Cancelo seemingly turned a corner at Manchester City, getting praised up, set to start another game for Manchester City, he could well be starting at left back for that game against Real Madrid in the Champions League. Why would we then decide, actually, no, Cancelo's going to leave, we want Nelson Semedo? The ship has sailed, this is a story from like a couple of months ago. It does not make sense from Manchester City's point of view to do that. Improving relations to sign Eric Garcia, once again, it just doesn't make sense. Eric Garcia, he's going to be where a Manchester City squad player next season. He's going to get games for Manchester City next season. Albeit, obviously, City are looking to sign a first top-class centre-back, uh, but Eric Garcia is going to be playing a rotated option to them, so he will get games, he will get starts, and he will get minutes. Manchester City do 50 to 60 games per season in all competitions. We've got Champions League football as well. It does not make sense. I can't see City sanctioning a sale for Eric Garcia to join Barcelona. What Manchester City do need to do, though, because these rumours will not go away until this happens, is to get Eric Garcia on a new contract. And while City are working hard with transfer deals right now to try and bring players in uh, because the market will be opening soon, we do need to be working really hard on getting our young prospects like Eric Garcia tied down to long-term contracts. And we do need to be getting our best players, the Raheem Sterling, the Kevin De Bruyne's, also on new contract too. So when clubs do come sniffing around, we don't have a Leroy Sane situation on our hands. And Eric Garcia's situation could turn into a Leroy Sane situation with him having just one year left on his contract. City need to get Garcia on a new contract ASAP. I would make that a top priority for new contract. And I'm hoping that while City are working hard on trying to bring players in and selling players, that we're working just as hard to get new contracts in particular for Eric Garcia. So now we're going to move on to the ins. We have got an update on Ferran Torres. Now Hector Gomez, a journalist in Valencia, is saying that Valencia know that Manchester City will not pay £39 million for Ferran Torres. Manchester City are willing to go as high as around £20 to £25 million maximum. And this will include Yangle Herrera in the move. Manchester City value Yangle Herrera at €15 million. Euro. So the deal would be worth roughly somewhere between €30 to €40 million Euro with cash. So 20 to 25 million pound plus Yangle Herrera for 15 million euro as well. Uh, I'm not too sure if Valencia would accept this offer, but we have heard apparently that Yangle Herrera is keen on joining Valencia and Valencia are interested in signing Yangle Herrera. So I'm not too sure uh, if there's going to be a hold up here. I know Valencia were, uh, wanted just straight up cash for um, Ferran Torres and they were potentially looking at a loan deal for Yangle Herrera, but Manchester City seem very insistent and this is what the hold up is here. And so... Uh, Valencia to try and force hand playing a little game here Super Deporte in Valencia the report in AC Milan Manchester United Atletico Madrid they're all in for Ferran Torres and they're not they're not it's just a game link these teams to try and get Manchester City to brush through the move and pay more money Manchester City no that they are the front runners here. Manchester City know that uh, Ferran Torres, they've been given word apparently now that he wants to join Manchester City. He wants to work with Pep Guardiola. Manchester City holding the uh, cards here. City just need to be insistent with how much they want to pay and not be paying over the odds. And in my opinion, £39 million for a player that has got one year left on his contract and wants to leave Valencia uh, is a little bit too much. I do value around 30 to £35 million, yes. 39 to right near 40 million, no. So City will try and haggle that down. 20 to 25 million plus Yangle Herrera sounds like a good deal if indeed Valencia want Yangle Herrera on a permanent transfer. If not, I probably won't go anywhere higher than 30 million and include a few million in add ons, is what I'd be looking for. Uh, but we'll wait and see. Long drawn out negotiations. Negotiations are getting closer and closer to an agreement. Manchester City are getting closer and closer to Valencia's valuation. So we'll see. I'm sure we'll have another update very soon on that. And so we're moving on to our final story David Alaba. This is interesting. James Ducker from The Telegraph has been repeating Manchester City want David Alaba. They want a left back this summer and David Alaba is right at the top of that list of left backs that Manchester City want to sign. Personally, I don't see Alaba leaving Bayern Munich. He's already stated he doesn't want to move to England, so Chelsea and Manchester City, no. Real Madrid apparently interested. He would be keen on that move instead. In my opinion, I don't see David Alaba leaving uh, Bayern Munich. I could see him either doing one more year and leaving for free and assessing his options or signing a new contract 
at Bayern Munich. Uh, he's on high wage, he wants to be one of the highest paid players, if not the highest paid player at Manchester City. It breaks our wage structure, so I'd say this transfer is unrealistic. However, I can dream. Now, interestingly, James Ducker did add on um, that we know that Manchester City want Ferran Torres. He's confirmed that City are indeed after Ferran Torres. He's also mentioned Koulibaly as well, saying that Manchester City have identified him as being that top-class centre-back that City are looking at. However, their contingency is Diego Carlos of Sevilla, the Brazilian defender, 27 years old, has a 75 million euro release clause, which is 68 million pounds, and that's Manchester City's contingency. Interestingly, no mention of Melan Scrania, so read into that what you will. Um, apparently, though, Manchester City, uh, Koulibaly is their man that they're wanting. Problem, Napoli and negotiations. Um, and how much money Napoli are wanting and getting that agreement. City are very, and I tell you right now, very reluctant to go into negotiations with Napoli after what happened with Jorginho. Will they do it? We'll wait and see. We know City prefer release clauses and Koulibaly's release clause is a lot higher, but Napoli are willing to negotiate that down, looking for anywhere between, I'd say, 70 to 90 million euro, depending on what's offered to them. But City have yet still to uh, submit a formal offer. They've just let the agent of Koulibaly know how much money City are willing to pay. And then the agent's acting as like a like an angel between the two clubs and talking on behalf of the two clubs to each other uh, before we end up getting official negotiations between the two clubs, which has not happened as of yet. So there we go, that has been the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this video. Aim is 350 likes, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Don't forget also leave your thoughts in the comments below of these transfers. Subscribe if you're new around here. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Aim is for 9,000 subscribers, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Don't forget also social media links in the description below and popping up on screen if you want to go and search for me and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram email also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries, go and join my membership as well if you so wish. Press that join button which you can find next to the subscribe button on my channel. Uh, I hope everyone is safe and well and I'll see everyone again tomorrow for the next Manchester City transfer update. So I've been JSGC. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace. Ciao for now.